hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl becca giving you another protective hairstyle now i've been seeing this hairstyle go around a lot and it's become very trendy so i definitely wanted to give it a try with some crochet hair and i will give you all the details on what i did to achieve this style so if you're interested keep watching i did start out on stretched hair from a previous hairstyle and I'm just going to show you guys my braiding pattern. I did one braid across here and then I'm going to just show you guys how I connected the braids. So right when you get around the nape of your neck, you're just going to take that braid because remember it wasn't braided all the way down and you're just going to combine that with the one that you were currently braiding and braid that all the way to the end. Now that you've braided it all the way to the end, I'm just going to show you how I secured it into my braid just like this one that you see here. So what you're going to need is your crochet hook and what I did was make sure you have the hook closed before you place it through your braid. Then you're going to take the end of your braid, open the hook, hook it onto the needle and then close it again and pull it through back through the braid. And then what you're going to do with that end is just tuck it underneath another braid or you can secure it with a bobby pin. So let me just show y'all how many parts I have in the front. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and then three on this side, six, seven, eight. And you already saw how I did the back when I crocheted it to have it secure. So when I crochet the back of the hair, nothing will come apart. So the braids in the front, the hair that I'm going to be using is the Shake and Go Free Tress uh, 3X Clean Therapy Pre-Rinse and Cleanse in Vinegar Wash hair in the color 2. They did have the usual color that I have, 1B, but the crochet hair, the only color they had was a color 2, so I wanted it to match. So that's why I got this in the color 2. It's close to my hair color anyway, so I don't think it'll be anything crazy but yeah so now let's get started on this braid for a cleaner part on my braids i'll be using edge booster because i ran out of jam and i did not realize before i left the hair store so i'm just taking that out Ooh, inches had to do a length check real quick so yeah you're just gonna place that edge booster on your roots on the top and the bottom to get a more cleaner look and then what i like to do is just take a small piece out and then begin braiding. That gives me a better grip on uh, braiding the hair from the beginning. And then for each braid, I used about three to five pieces of hair, depending. It all depends on how you want the thickness of your braid. I didn't want it too thick because I wanted the ends to kind of like uh, mesh into the hair. And I will show you what I'm talking about as you continue to watch the video. So I stopped about right here because right at this part, I'm going to add some curly hair into the braid so I could get like a wavy look and so the braid won't be so stiff. And I just took that one piece of curly hair and then I just split it into two pieces. And I'll show you guys what kind of hair I used later on in the video. So I did stop a little bit uh, after my hair, my natural hair I stopped just to give it some length in the braid and then I secured it with a rubber band at the end. And don't worry about the straight pieces, we'll handle that towards the end and I'll also show you how I did that as well. Now when it comes to the curly pieces and adding it to the braid, it also varies how many pieces you want. So I did about two to five pieces of curly hair as well for each braid. Now 
Now that my front braids are done, I can start showing you guys the back. Once again, I did have eight braids in the front, five on one side and three on the opposite. The crochet hair I'll be using today is from Free Tress in the color 2. Of course, this is the Mazo Curl in 18 inches. So now I'm just going to show you. Once again, I'm going to take a piece of that uh, crochet hair and split it into two. And then I'm going to show you how to crochet the back. Of course, you're just going to make sure that your hook is closed when you place it through the braid at first. Then you're going to take that crochet hair, wrap it around the hook, close the hook, and then pull it right on through. And then I'm going to show you two ways to tie it in a knot. So the first way you could do it is just pull it all the way through and tie it as if you were about to tie a shoe, but not the double loop part. And then the other way you can do it is by, of course, putting it through and having like this small hole and taking one of the ends and placing that through the hole, if that makes sense. As I was pulling the crochet needle through, my braid was coming loose, but like I said, all I did was just secure it with a bobby pin and it stayed stuck. So this is what one pack of crochet hair looked like. It was able to cover like the whole half of my head. So that's a good landmark for y'all. But it also depends on the thickness of your hair, how many braids you do, how far back you put the braids. So I suggest two packs would be good enough just to be on the safe side. So remember when I was doing my braiding pattern for the back of my head and I had that crown braid? So what I'm gonna do is the reverse effect. I'm going to stick the crochet needle um, upward through my braid of course hook it onto the um, crochet hair pull it back through and then I'm going to place it in a knot but I'm gonna take that other end and place it backwards Now let's get into these ends. So what you're gonna do is just take these straight pieces and cut them. <laughs> Simple as that. You're just gonna take them and cut as closest to the rubber band as you can. But make sure you don't cut the rubber band because it's gonna be a hassle to tie everything back and then it's just gonna be too much. So cut as close as you can to the rubber band. And just look how seamlessly it blends into the rest of the hair. So now that I've done all that, I'm just going to put on some makeup. And here is the finished look. I so love this hairstyle. I saw it going on and I've been wanting to try it for such a long time now. So let me know what y'all think of this hairstyle. Would you try it? Is this a cute summer hairstyle for y'all? And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be up to date when the next time I post. So until next time, bye.